All right, well, we'll come back to the channel. So another piece of uh, WordPress that really acts me, that makes me feel a bit weird is uh, this post part. The number of times I want to use the same uh, uh, post type that it is, but also just rename it to something else. And I don't want to use very big plugins on this case. So I'm going to change its name and change its label so that we see something that's different. So the other thing that we could use is maybe news or articles or journal. So I'm going to change it into something like that. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to use a particular function uh, right here. So I'll just create some space in our plugin that we've been using. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use a simple query. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tap into WordPress by adding an action. And this action takes uh, two parameters. One, it will take the admin dash init change post name. That will be our function. So now we're going to just get change post name, which is our function. I'll just add function to it and circle that and then I'll open this curly brackets. Uh, however, we have an issue here that I forgot to type the closing uh, quotation. So right now we're going to use a function that's called a get post type object and uh, it takes in one argument which is the name of the post type that you want and we'll just store this into a variable that we shall call post type. After saving our post type into that we're going to say let's get the labels and those will equal to the post type and then now uh, we shall map the labels on it. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, let's try to echo and see what labels uh, we have in terms of name. So what name do we have for labels? Uh, when we reload right here we actually see if we inspect the element here And then just take off that. We see that we have our posts here, which is the name of this. So what we are going to do is uh, we're going to do do it the way we usually uh, handle all our custom post types when we're adding things to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste this code here so that I don't take a lot of time typing it. Uh, and then I'll just explain it to you. So when we get our labels, we shall map the name into news. Singular name will be news. A new name would be news add item, uh, edit, new, view, search, not found and all of that. So we add all the labels that are required for any post type. So when we come back to our browser here and we reload this page, the admin page, we actually see that we have news here and everything is all news. The same could be done for pages except that this time our post type will be page. So let's try that out. So if we change this to page and then go back and reload, we're going to be targeting the pages uh, pages name and that's why we have here news. So we shall be targeting the page its pages itself and that's why we have this all coming out here. So it will be easy for me to just uh, leave the post and change posts and instead of uh, making a new post type and calling it news, which functions the same as post would be, I would call it maybe news or I would say maybe journal and then maybe for the plural name is where I would say journals. So if I come here and reload we have journal here. So we have journal as our new post type and we are able to see that so when we come to add a journal uh, we'll see that we have here add journal we can add our title and our post and we are good to go. So that's all you need and it will still work with your current website even if you use this particular code block that we have here. So thank you for watching the channel. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell uh, to get uh, new videos coming out. Enjoy this. Bye-bye.